Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Eve. Now, I know I've beaten the game already, but there are several things in the gallery that I've left behind, or simply left untouched, and that I would like to bring up. So, let's start from as beginning as I felt necessary. It's way far back. After you get the red key, and unlock this door, there should be a book around here, which is the moving storybook, Careless Carrie and the Galat de Rios. Now, it's a storybook, right? Well, let's say you don't read it, so you put it back on the shelf. Another book starts to jut out. Let's pull it out. Nothing happens. So let's not read it. Then some of there's another book out, so let's just push it back in. Now the door is unlocked without having to read Careless Carry. Because Careless Carry is something that's special that I probably shouldn't have noticed on my first try. But I did anyway. And yet the storybook is nowhere to be found anymore. So that's just something I would like to point out. On to the next bit. After Gary joins your party and you go up to up to here, there's a couple things I didn't point out necessarily. Most likely, I realized I'd never showed off this cutscene. Yeah, what is that? Gross as what? Why are there eyes on the floor? Well, this is perfectly reasonable. For some reason, this only happens before you get the eye drops. Then they'll be like. Because after you get the eye drops, they'll constantly be out and won't surprise Gary anymore. Especially this one. D does this lone eye have a congestion problem? And no, you can't skip ahead and try to see the wall for the secret passage. Now, also, there's something else you can do. Nope. Something else you, I just want to point out. This painting, this little dude here, he's a little freaky. And definitely wants the flower. Let's say you actually try to give it to him. Now hold on, Abe. Are you sure about that? I wouldn't trust this thing. <laughs> Your flower, pretty please. Alright. Sure, just a little bit. <laughs> Thanks. It's so pretty. <laughs> well, chow time! <coughs> And then he eats your rose before you have a chance to take it back. The next major event happens reasonably s after that. Not in here. Mannequin head. It's the mannequins. That's right. It happens the first time. I don't remember that happening. Whatever. It happens the first time you see the mannequins. Mainly this thing. When the mannequin tries to scare Gary, which I find is hilarious, by the way. So, when he first tries to scare Gary, if you want to go down the way to the bad ending, what you do is you cover your eyes. <sighs> huh, see? Just the mannequin. Let's get going, Abe. You really shouldn't do this. Also, I've I've heard some some little things that if you keep checking this mirror, any mirror really, something pops up, but nothing like scary or anything. Just something for like a little Easter egg. I haven't found it yet, ever. Oh, oh, hello there, guys. You'll notice a sudden increase of the mannequins that you see. See this one here? Blocks the door. Oh, you're alive. Ah, uh, what? Uh. <laughs> Eve? I don't think there's anything in here. Let's leave now. What is? Yeah, the game noticeably blames you because you did that. Good job. Nice job breaking it, Gary. Is this? paint. It's a vase. This would normally 
heal you. And actually, this is the vase you use in the puzzle. To the, in the puzzle to the left, but you can't do that now because the mannequins are punishing you. And normally you can refill. I'm, I think you can refill your vase, your rose, with this. But if you do it now, it deals damage to you because that's paint and not water. The gallery is like a spooky amusement park with lots of strange things. So much fun playing here. The day was over before I knew it. Isn't that a fantastic place? Why don't you join me here? You'll be fine with all this company. One of our visitors has damaged one of the displays. If found, please abort them promptly. Some of the letters are missing, though. Posters come off the walls. Let's pull it off. Hanged Gary. <laughs> well, then. Now when you go in here, something I would like to point out. You don't need to move this bookshelf, but let's say you move it to the left. There we go. Well, that'll do, I think. You, I got really lucky in just having to move it to the right. But... You really should do that. And let's see, anything else in here interesting? Watch bookcase? No. This little picture here is rather interesting because it's, you know, the people are their mom and dad. But Gary notes that even that this gallery is starting to get to her a little bit. Keep that in mind until a little bit later. And then you're trapped in the door. During the escape, and there's still no time to loosely sit down. During the escape, I got really lucky by blocking that window. Yep. Actually, this blue little, this lady, the blue lady in the painting isn't too difficult to avoid. However, it, if you don't get to the ending rather quickly, it'll fill up with a lot of ladies. The painting. No, no. Oh, come on. And there's a lot of mannequins blocking your way as well, and you don't want to get... Oh, goodness, that's a lot. And that's sort of as far as this, uh, as this little tour goes, so... When you wake up with Gary in this little bit, in this little room here... Yeah, no leaving ever. When you wake up in this portion, in this little part of the thing, after you escape from all the everything going after you, Gary gives you the lemon candy... And he lets you, and he gives you his coat as a blanket. That you can talk to him as much as you, if you talk to him without giving him his coat, he'll tell him that you can sleep, you know, because it's safe. So you gotta make sure you're well rested. And then, you know, that's all, but then you get the candy. That's all. Now, if you leave without giving him his coat, what I did right there was actually kind of good. If you have enough friendship points with Gary, then you'll get closer to a good ending. If you don't, then you get further away from a good ending and closer to a bad ending. Like, if you don't give him his coat, that's one good point right there. Talk to him enough, that's more good ending points. Now, if you don't give him his coat, he'll actually walk over to get it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And something else I'd like to point out. Even though I talked to him without his coat, his little icon still had him wearing it. Alright, so now you're ready to take on the next room. There's something I'd like to point out as well. Regarding the Abyss of the Deep painting that's required for the, for the puzzle up in here further up in here, you don't actually see the name of that painting. Eve doesn't know that word. So there's no way she would know Abyss of the Deep. And actually, this little, which is, and I used my best knowledge to say, hey, maybe it was Abyss of the Deep because she didn't know that word. So, that aside, on would we go. This pain, this entire thing can be skipped. And the only reason you would want to go in here is for more good friendship points with Gary. All you gotta do is read the bookcase, hit a button, and then you can leave. 
and because you broke a mannequin, they're still following you. Also, checking this wo this milk painting will also give you friendship points with Gary. But as far as I've my research has told me, it only works if you go through this maze. Not exactly 100% sure, but that's what I know. This is where things get a little more serious. When you go to, when Gary, Mary, and Eve all split up, the if you go to Gary's portion, he, then he gets to do a lot of stuff. Let's see. Let's pull this one. Nope, still gets hit. Pull this one. Gas poisons him. Pull this one. Last time I pulled this, a doll fell. Let's see who falls this time. Ugh. Great. A mannequin falls. And if this mannequin falls, you no longer have a chance to get the good ending. Period. And then let's just pull this cord. Pulls like his power off? Ah, great. Well, with all that happening, I guess this goes switch to Eve. Oh, and every now and then, in this little box room here, near here, that huge, scary doll monster will appear rarely. I've only seen it happen once. And that was during my failed recording of this. So, yeah. That last time when I did it, I did, I pulled this cord. And then the mannequin cord, and it fell and it popped up. So, oh well. I'll just see you in a bit then. This little this little stairway through here also has something to do with it. For example... Hey, can I ask you a question? Is Gary your dad? You get bad points if you say he's a stranger. But, so, but this time I'm gonna say no. Ah, so you had someone else. Let's see. Is your mom nice, Eve? Not when she's mad. <laughs> She gets mad at you, Eve. You want to see your parents again soon, right? I'm going to get out soon, too. For the record, you also get bad points if you say say that to her. If you tell her that your mom gets mad at you, bad points. So up here, something is a little interesting. Now, you put in a name. This is Marvelous Knight. And actually, you know that because I'm pretty sure you've seen this painting somewhere else. Juggler is still 6223. Alright, not much else, Mary, that we that even Mary can do here. If anything, we activate this. And that's it. Oh wait, no. I nearly forgot. In the room with the with the tree key and this thing. For the mannequin head, I got really lucky and, and actually no I didn't. I used logic to solve this out. But if I didn't, well, let's say we take this off the table. Never mind that it'll break. That it could break. Let's just move it. I got lucky. And it didn't break. It just broke the floor. If you break. If you move this one, that is. For some reason, Mary asks why it doesn't have hair. That, I'll, put, I'll point out something about that later. So, let's move it off the table. Yeah, it could break, but what are the odds? Last one didn't. No. That hurts. Okay. Well, surely this one won't as well, right? Yeah. Come on, it'll be fine. Nope. Not only does it shatter, but the shards actually hurt you. And you get to see a bunch of creepy mannequins following you now. But oddly enough, there isn't one behind me yet. Even though in my playthrough earlier, she was clearly... Mary was clearly tearing one to shreds with that palette knife. Yeah. So we'll just stick this in there. And then we go over to Gary. But not before I point out, this is Tattletale. This painting is called Tattletale. What's unique, what's special about this is it's a mouth. I'll point out. Now keep that in mind as I switch to Gary. Oh, 
Oh, there he is. There you finally are. Yeah. Glad I got that on, on camera this time. So when the doll's chasing you... Yeah. When the doll starts chasing you, and by the way, I'd like to point out that it actually is chasing you. When the doll's chasing you, it'll start get, to get really kind of irritating, considering that Gary's been through a lot in this one thing. Though, to, to me, it doesn't really seem irritating, but you do know that these are not cute little bunnies that Eve thinks they are. They're dolls that are very creepy. And it's in my way now. How long are you going to follow me? Enough of this. I'm busy here, you know? And I'm not going to be your buddy. If you want bad points, and if you broke the mannequin and do this now, you get a bad ending. Stupid dolls! Get out of my way! Ugh. Ugh. It hurts, it hurts. Well then. And now, as you can see, there's a doll head where the doll, where normally there would be a whole doll here. And there's a doll without its head here. Yeah. It's all your fault my head was plucked off. So then we start the ball of paint quest. And here. This is enlightenment. You appear here as well? What on earth? I didn't even know you showed up here. That's absurd. That's a new one. Okay. Well, I guess we're both learning things. Right, so, um... Enlightenment pointed over to there where the huge scary doll, the scary doll monster was. Yes. And the doll is over here. Doll's head lies on the ground. What you doing? What you doing? I wanna know. Now then, there's a color. Ball of pink. This is the strained ear. Enlightenment is looking at the painting of strained ear, which is why I pointed that out, those out earlier. Now remember when we look at, at Mary's painting? She's almost lifelike, but not a real person. Now look at the ear. Look at the painting of the ear, and you can see it moving. As Gary is saying that Mary is not a real painting. And then you see... That. If you're not paying attention, you wouldn't have noticed that. Question. What happens when I go switch over to Mary and Eve now? Mary starts freaking out. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> I'm, he, I'm okay. Eve, okay, Mary. I'm okay, Mary, me. <laughs> Again, she freaks out. I was going to point out that you can't see her eyes in this one little thing. Means she's gone completely psychotic. So, why does she freak out? Because the tattletale is right here, which is a pair of lips. The ear heard what was happening, and the mouth told Mary. Meaning that we know that she is just a painting. Now if you go over here, or somewhere else... Hey, where are you going? Let's go together, okay? Then she starts following you all over the place. 
Do you, Eve, do you know about snow? I do. Wow, it's nice. It's really cold, right? I read in the book that you can eat it with syrup. What how that tastes. And you can. We call it a snow cone. Although, and I've actually I've tried some. In Disney, they have those little things in Japan where you can try the like, little ice snow treats. And they're really good. Anyway. She keeps talking about doll, wanting to play dolls and how Eve could be the mom doll and she'll be the dad doll. Or vice versa. Doesn't mention Gary directly. She also talks about wanting to draw and how she's pretty good. Huh? Why am I staying behind you? Well, why not? There's no real reason. Hey, Eve, will you be friends with me? I've always wanted a girl like me who... I always wanted a girl like me who could be my friend. I want to meet your mom, too. I mean, I don't even have a dad. We passed by a penny of clown earlier. What? Oh, yeah, that's right, we did. I want to get out now. I'm, being, I'm tired of being here. Yeah, she means that in multiple ways, actually. She really does. And I'm guessing that means Gro and Tina was... I don't even know. So anyway, after all this randomness and conversations with Mary, which I've never really even really had, go over here, can't move, aspiration for sleep. She begins to just wander around reading the paintings. You can't, you can't talk to her whatsoever, even if you get in her way. So let's keep checking the paintings. So let's go to Gary. Now remember this doll here on how he would give you a little ball of paint. The doll's head lies on the ground. Like you would just, you know, tear open its stomach, I think, and then it'd give you that. I picked up something good, and I'm not giving it to you. I'm making it my treasure. The doll's head just seems to be on the ground. Something's jutting from its head. What should I do? That's too disturbing. But, if you check the doll, I suppose I'll take a closer look. Though I don't want to touch it. Boom. Inside, you can see, there's clearly a ball of red paint. And then he goes in there. Well, the door's unlocked. Let's go. This room. You can see the doll... The same doll that's been following us around is now headless. It is now rolling around. It says on the wall, Welcome to our home. Just a bunch of ordinary dolls. I wouldn't call them ordinary, but oh well. But take the last ball of paint, that's seven of them, and then you can leave. No, you can't. Now I just, uh, I'll admit, when I was playing this th in my let in my blind let run, this kind of freaked me out. I mean, that wouldn't that freak you out? So anyway, let's just. And I barely got out because I was just, you know, finally reacting. Ah, there's the key. This one right here is the key. But let's say you don't make it out. Because let's see, because you know, see, there's this one and it's a pebble, really. Nope. And it's hair? Why? And in here? Blue paint. You get the key, and this painting is called Illusion. I think she's stopped wandering around now. She should be with us. So let's go up here. Huh? Wait, Eve. The stairs over here too. I'm going with you. Oh, I thought she was with me the whole time. Sorry about that. Eh, it's unlocked from this side. All right, so now we're down here. We can take make use of this eternal blessing. And that's so. <laughs> oh, sure. Sometimes, yeah. 
I hear someone talking. <laughs> Don't see that every day, right? I just ran out, you see. Oh, really? I love it. But it takes a while for sure. Oh, you too? Well, we certainly do get along, don't we? <laughs> Gary, is he talking to someone? Gary? Oh, you're really quite entertaining, you know that? I feel like I could talk to you about my every worry. <laughs> Give me the details? No, no. I won't tell anyone. Your secret's safe with me. What? I don't believe it. Really? Are you for real? Because that's disgusting. Who would do that to a girl? If I saw that happening, I'd tell them off for sure. Troubled? I know the feeling. You just feel helpless sometimes. I know you can't run away, but nothing goes well either. <laughs> Wonder why. Yeah, that works too. It's nice to not have to think. Just forget that bad things. Oh yes, I'm there with you. He's talking to himself. Why are you here? No, no way! Uh, uh, I don't really know what's going on, but... What were we doing? Uh, whoa, Eve? Uh. <laughs> My, well... I'm not too sure what happened, but you must have been worried. Sorry about that, Eve. Well, I'd like to say we need to press ahead, but my memory's a bit messy, so I can't remember what I was doing. Well, you don't really need to remember, do you? At least we're back together. I suppose that's true. But I feel like I'm forgetting something important. I wonder what it was. Anyway, let's go. We found some stairs. Alright then, let's give it our best. Now then, allow me to point out something very, very truthful. Ruins of the heart. If your spirit suffers too much, you will soon start to hallucinate. And in the end, you will be destroyed. And more worrying yet, is that you will not even be conscious of that fact. Gary's mind became so troubled. He, like the monstrosity that he saw in that room, was so horrible. Of these dolls, that it made him lose his mind. And it's been happening to Eve the whole time, but she just didn't know it. Although it's not as bad for her, because Gary literally lost his mind. To the point where he wasn't even aware of that. He was having a polite a typical conversation with a doll. That to him, at this point, probably looked like a rabbit. So then let's talk to the let's check out this painting one more time. Red eyes. 
The lava. This painting. This room. Why was it be so unsettling? Huh? Really? I think it's cute. We're going. What about this? Is cute. I just. I just think it is. What about Eve? Now. About this bunny. We know what it really is, right? Right. I might play through. I said it was cute because it's a bunny. Or maybe I said want to pet it. But. This is really weird. Because what you say could affect something later. If you say it's cute, it'll change. Then there'll be a certain point in a certain scene where, Ma where Mary will point it out. If you say, not sure. What do you mean, not sure? Well, alright then. At any rate, let's try to get out of this creepy place quick. I feel like I'm being watched in this room. Talk about unsettling. Okay, I had the game paused and you fell off the shelf. How did you even do that? Now if we go back here... That, I just wanted to point that out quickly. Now when we go back here, after we rescue Gary from that mind things... Huh? Mary, you dropped something. Huh? What? Hey, this rose. Don't touch that! What, Mary, what is, what's that you're holding? Give it back! Whoa, whoa hold on. M Mary, don't touch it! It's my rose! Wait, wait, keep that away! Ah! <sighs> Mary, it's as I thought. Eve, listen. I remember now. I saw a portrait of Mary in a collection of Grantana's works. You might not believe it, but... Mary isn't human. She's just she's just like those painting women who come after us. I think it, I think she's another one of Grantana's works. I didn't spend enough time with her to really notice it, but it's dangerous to stay with her. It's unfortunate, but we'll have to leave her. And leave her we must do. Something I would just like to point out a little bit. If you look in this pond here, you can try to dip your rose in this. If you do, as expected, it hurts you. Because this is chalk and not actual water. Once you start walking through the chalk world, you realize a bunch of flying things will, will fly by that can actually hurt you. Yeah, so watch out when they actually do appear. Now, because I didn't do that hanging Eve thing, this happens. The reason why this why this appears right now is because of that mannequins. Yeah, that's why this Eve appears here. <laughs> 